Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom B-Pow Picks Edition. By the way, if you go down into my other videos there, we did a, we're doing a uh, trade deadline uh, series at SteelFlyers.com. Steel Flyers Network is where I do my show from 3 to 5 on this channel every week. 3 to 5 Eastern on this channel every week. Check it out. It's really cool. Okay, well, we had a fantastic weekend. We hit like cray cray. We hit a lot. Uh, I'll tell you about Sunday's picks. And you didn't get Sunday's picks, did you? No. No, you didn't. I'm about to give you all of today's picks really quick here, so don't go away on me. I'll give you all today's picks really quick, then you can write them all down or, you know, do whatever, and then I'm going to talk about them afterwards. But I'll give them to you real quick. Sometimes you just don't have time to listen to all the pearls of wisdom that I provide for you. I don't know why. You should probably change your life a little bit if you don't, but that's your business, not mine, I guess. Okay. Uh, anyways, we were we rocked. We rocked. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, busy. I had a busy weekend. I was. Uh, we had to lube up the uh, perlocopters this weekend. And by that, by we, I mean Hernandez and Melissa did, and then I made sure they did. And that's how I was busy. That's how I was busy. Yeah, very busy. Got it all lubed up though. They're all ready to go. And if you hit the subscribe button. Now we are fully lubed up and prepared to bring you pearls of wisdom necklaces to your door, Melissa and Hernandez. While I was doing that, Helen was just stitching up and sewing up like a bugger, getting those pearls of wisdom necklaces all done up for you. She has, we have like, they're all over the place. It's fantastic. Uh, you can, okay, so here's the picks. Here's the picks, ready? Get your stuff out, get your all pencils all sharpened and stuff. Okay, Panthers in rag under six. Rangers ML over six. Penguins ML over five and a half. Canucks ML under six and a half. Capitals reg over six. Jets ML over five and a half. Flames ML under six. Blues ML over five and a half. And Knights in reg under six and a half. Write all those down, do what you want to do with them. But remember, this is now, today is, today is, what is today? Today is the 15th, is today the 15th? Today's the 14th, tomorrow's the 15th. And uh, those can all change. In fact, sometimes when I do the videos here, I go, oh, you know what, maybe not. But hopefully those helped you out. For the people that don't have time, go make some money with that. Now, we're gonna look at Sunday's games. And uh, I was gonna say, you didn't have Sunday's picks, did you? No, unless you're a Patreon member, then you did. And I did a solid for you, and I did Saturday's picks. So you can go check out the video on Saturdays. I'm not going to review them because the video will last too long. But we'll do Sundays. But if you had Patreon, you would have got Sunday's picks, and you would have had some humdinger money in your pocket. Not to mention I just nailed tennis. I think I'm on a 5-0 and run with a parlay. Uh, we just hit NCAA and NBA. Just hitting, 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 hitting. Get yourself over there. It's free. It's free for a month. Go over there and I'll give you this the rest of this month for free. Check it out. Don't like it? Get away. Go. Go, 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 go. Doesn't cost you a dime. Okay. Let's look at yesterday's picks, shall we? There we are. Let's reload this. Wow, this is moving slow. I guess I could just talk to you. Uh, I could have had this ready too, right? Okay, 
Okay, Coyotes versus Wild. We had the Wild in reg, and we had Small on the over. I was really unsure about it, didn't like it, but I throw, I give everybody an analysis on every pick, and I could even, I'll show you one here in a second, but on every pick, and uh, I give an over and under for every pick, of which I hit 65 to 70% on all the picks. Favorite picks, I'm usually I'm a lot I'm higher than that. We had the Canes in regulation, uh, for and a little bit on the under, on the over, and uh, my buddy Curtis said Steve, that's it, or Perlo, sorry, Steve is the name I use when I'm not in reality when I'm doing stuff that's not hockey related. Uh, Canes, we had the Canes in regulation, and he was all over the under, and he was right. I was wrong. We had stars, ML, and under on this one for some pretty decent coin, I believe. Plink, yeah, we had pretty good. We had Devils, PL, puck line. I thought the Devils might pull this out, and I'll, I could show that on my published uh, uh, analysis, and they almost did. But I went with the PL because the Islanders are just cruising so strong. It's really hard to to take to not take them. But I thought it was a very a higher percentage that the Devils would only lose by one. So we took the PL, which was higher juice than the Islanders ML. It was at one sixty four, and I had that for medium, I believe, and we had the under. So we nailed that. Avalanche versus Kings, we nailed big time. We had Avalanche in regulation, and we had the under five and a half, I believe it was. So big time smoked it. This is the special one right here. And this is the one I'm probably going to show you on Patreon. I did have the under. The buggers couldn't hold on. It was under six and a half. <laughs> couldn't hold on. I did have the under, but I had... The Senators for three bags. Three bagger, my friend. And what do we got? Okay, here it is. I'll show it to you. This is what I do. I give a I give information to uh, for every pick. And you can choose whichever ones you like or whatever. And like I said, I do very well. Very tough team game to cap because the Leafs are on a back-to-back -back and the fourth game in six nights. Senators are playing their first game at home after a long road trip. First games back after a long road trip is tough for players because they usually still have family stuff on their mind and are often tired from taking their kids places and such when they probably should be just resting. The routine is off. Hockey is a very routine oriented game. Yes, it is. Toronto will be tired and might be thinking ahead to the fact that they have four days off after this. Honestly, this game could go a lot of ways. And that being the case, I'm going to go to the value bet with Ottawa for small pearls. We have a good week. We had a good week, and we did. We crushed. Let's smash a killer plus money play to close it out. This under is based on a choppy game from possibly less focused team and a very tired Leafs team that may be looking past the game. The Leafs have been playing a lot of on the road, and they were just about. So, yeah, that's what I give you. That's what I give you. And then this is one of my fine patrons saying, great picks today, Perlo, as usual, man, and awesome. You know, we, we give each other a lot of love there. So come on over and get some love. Now we're going to go to tomorrow's picks. And we have lots of picks tomorrow. Oh, the picks. The picks are falling all over the place. Okay. Tampa Bay versus Nashville. Tampa Bay may throw us something here. They may throw us a little bit of something. Nothing's been confirmed, uh, but they're playing Nashville, and I do believe this is the second game. I just want to see who they're playing after this. I forgot. Tampa Bay. They're playing Dallas after this. So this is the first game of a back-to-back, -back, first of all. Tampa Bay has a habit of overlooking opponents. But second of all, they are almost assuredly going to be playing McElhaney here. 
Makalini has struggled. Um, what I like on this play for sure is the over. I like over five and a half. Tampa on the line, I would go no more than in reg. And I think, I, yeah, no more than in reg. Uh, and that's not really going to pay you all that much. Just got a bad feeling of McElhinney and that. And uh, Rene, or who, are they going to keep on rolling with the old man Rene? I, I don't know. But uh, they should be able to score a lot on him, and Nashville should be able to pot a couple. Um as a whole, they should still be able to PL that. This is going to be the interesting one, but we'll get to that another time, won't we? Because we're not talking about Tuesday. We're talking about Monday. Uh, Chicago versus Florida. I think they they have Bobrovsky in here, and he might keep rolling with them. But he might find a spot for Drager here. Uh, I don't know. Lankinen should be in for Chicago. It's going to be interesting to see who Quinville goes with here. Um, yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see. Uh, Florida's own Chicago. I know that a very good friend of mine, a very good uh, uh, the, uh, capper or best bet Ed, check him out. He's got Chicago. I just listened to it here. And I get it. I get it. I, I just think he's too strong to go for Chicago here. Florida is just too strong. Chicago's been on the road for a long time. I think their kids are starting to wear out. They have guys like Pia Suter and uh, that are uh, playing, haven't played in the NHL before, and they're playing a lot. And they look like they're starting to fade to me. Florida looks solid. Uh, they have a lot of veterans. They're more physically prepared for this type of game. Now that being said. I am leaning the under here, which is giving pretty darn good juice. That's because Lankanen is very good. And Florida's been playing over all the time. I get this. But I just don't think Florida's going to be able to score enough on Lankanen to push this to the over. I th feels like a 3-2-3, three, three, something like that. 3-2, somewhere around there. Not huge on the total, but I do like Florida in regulation Rangers versus Philadelphia I gotta go with the Rangers here uh, and I gotta go with the over they're get, Rangers getting plus money against a Philadelphia team that just doesn't have it right now uh, Carter Hart going in who struggled all year is is he gonna bail himself out of it this game possibly I suppose um, Gorgiev apparently is going to be back in for the Rangers. I'm going to go over six here. The way the Rangers play and the way Philadelphia's defense is. Uh, and Philadelphia can still score. So, yeah, I, I think over six is the play and the Rangers ML. Boston versus Pittsburgh. Uh, when is Bo when's Boston going to be able to turn it around here? The problem is with Boston is they have Lauzone injured uh they have a lot of their defensemen injured and that's really what the big problem is for them right now uh after losing chara and krug they were fine if people didn't get injured but they got brandon carlo lauzon uh even kevin kevin miller they're playing a lot of like guys like zaboral and stuff a lot higher in the lineup that they're ready for and that's really, I think, the problem with Boston right now. I can't see that problem stopping here against Pittsburgh. Um, not to mention Rask is injured, Tuka Rask. Uh, and Halak is great goaltender, if not overused. And he's getting to the point of being overused here. So um, Pittsburgh has been doing what okay with Jari, I suppose, but they're playing a lot of overs. This is over five and a half, I believe. So I got to go over and Pittsburgh ML. Especially since Pittsburgh is getting plus money at home. Yeah, for sure. Pittsburgh ML and the over. Ottawa versus Vancouver. This is a really tough game to cap. Ottawa just played a very emotional game against Toronto, whom we just talked about. We picked to win that game. 
Um, Vancouver just flew from home, didn't they? Vancouver just, oh no. Is that right? They were at Montreal? And they're just, I thought they were home. Okay, I guess not. Wow, okay, that screwed me up. I think there's a mistake here. That's week nine, right? They're going to be on a long road trip right now. This is the first game off of a road trip, I believe. Come on. Uh, Vancouver, yeah. Um, Yeah, they played against Toronto. They've had two days to go to Ottawa. Ottawa just played a very emotional game last night on a back-to-back. -back. I think Demko and Net is really all Vancouver needs for this game as long as they put out a solid effort. I'm going to take Vancouver on the... Uh, I, but I'm only going to ML it. And the under. I think the play is the under here, especially if it's six and a half. Yeah, under six and a half. That's the under. I just think Ottawa is going to have a tough time scoring on Demko, and they're going to be tired. And I don't think Vancouver, the, the next question, though, is going to be, Murray tweaked something before he got started. Is he going to be in net? Uh, or is it going to be Decord on the back-to-back? -back? That could change things. That's why we go get the Patreon, because I give you all that information as it comes in. Buffalo versus Washington. I can't go against Washington here with Carter Hutton likely in net. I just, I just can't. I can't. I can't. Washington's hot. They're, they got enough offense. Buffalo loses their 11th game in a row. I mean, try to find a spot for them, but... I just can't see it. Uh, yeah, I'm taking Washington. Um, I'm probably not getting much on the money line, so throw it in reg and uh, probably go the over. I, I, Washington, if they want to, can absolutely. The only thing bad about this game is that Washington can play down to their opposition. They've been known to do that. Uh, and they've been playing some fairly tough competition, and now they're playing Buffalo. They can be a little overconfident, but I'm going to bank that they don't. So Winnipeg, Montreal, um, Montreal's first game, Montreal's been on the road for days, uh, to Winnipeg's first game home from a fairly, not a very long road trip, and it's only from Toronto. Um, I just, Winnipeg's rolling so well right now, and Hollabuck should be in net, he's crushing it, and you're getting plus money, like, you got to take Winnipeg on the ML here. Uh, as far as the total is concerned, Winnipeg's scoring so much. If Price is in net, this is, yeah, over five and a half. Definitely over five and a half. We'll be taking over on that. Edmonton versus Calgary. First things first, under. Calgary is playing. Uh, uh, Dwayne, Daryl Sutter has quickly got them playing very solid defense. These two teams have a tendency to go over. But Smith should be in net for Edmonton, and Markstrom is relishing the idea of having this strong defense in front of him, I'm sure. Um, as far as the line is concerned, it's a tough game to choose, to tell you the honest truth. Um, uh, Edmonton's been on the road for a while. I think Calgary's just, like, they're playing like bulls right now. Uh, Daryl Sutter has them competing and believing to a certain extent. I want to take Calgary ML probably for small pearls there. Should be a fun game to watch. Los Angeles versus St. Louis. Brown is out for Los Angeles. Um, also, Ole Mata is out for Los Angeles. Um, I don't know if they'll be going back. No, Peterson, it's a back-to-back. -back. It's going to be Groshnik, I think. And for St. Louis... They're not on a back-to-back. -back. Bennington will be in net. i got to go with St. Louis here on the ML. As far as the over-under, it should be over, yeah. It should be. 
Uh, Groshnik, if they go with Groshnik, maybe they go back to back with Peterson, possibly. Then I might lean under here. Um, but if they do go with Groshnik, I'm probably going to go the over five and a half. San Jose versus Vegas. Um, this is another one of those cases where you have a team that's come off of a long road trip. I am almost on the side of San Jose here. Um, Dubnik is playing really well. Flurry has just been insane, though. Insane. It's really hard to go with San Jose here. Maybe on the puck line. What are they giving you on the puck line? Oh, yeah, 187. Take San Jose on the puck line. Uh, Dubnik has been playing very, very well. You're getting 187 on the puck line here. And Vegas is the first game back after a long road trip. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be close. And I think they have the under here, too. So I think they have this at 6.5 as, uh, as the total. Uh, I'll take that. That's the play. Under six and a half for this game. Well, boys and girls, that's my full 42%. Thank you for listening to this fine programming. I hope you're enjoying it. Tell me in the comment section if you are. And just tell me everything about life in general. And I'll send you a free picks for a month. Go, it'll be in the bio. The bio. Just go into the bio. It says it's bio or uh, what is it called? The the. I'll put it in the freaking comments. I forget what it's called. <laughs> description. In the description. Not the bio. In the description. Go to the description. You'll find it. Hit it. Sign yourself up to the $25 package. I'll reimburse you right away. And we will have so much fun. Lots of love to you. Okay. Bye.